off to uh, get another build. I got another build. Going to pick up the Volvo. Pick this thing up. I, I don't know. I don't know how bad it's going to be. It says mechanical. I don't know. I, it's sight unseen. It's the way I like to do it. So just go for the gusto. We'll see what happens when I get there. We'll check it out once I get it loaded up. See how ugly it is. You guys already know I've got the Crown Vic. Well, I've got to uh, do some other projects so I can uh, have extra money to work on the Vic project, the Lessons Learned project. So, obviously, I'm in no hurry. You know, I don't really care. I mean, I'm I'm not trying to invest a ton of a ton of time and money into it. It's just all going to be a slow go for sure because I got a full-time job. I, I work 24-7, 365 as a, a project manager for a facilities group where I, I've got 27 offices to design and build, maintain, expand, install. <laughs> I'm pretty much a man of many hats. So... Uh, glad you made it to my channel today. That's cool. If you found yourself over here, you'll you'll uh, you'll want to subscribe to my channel to uh, know whenever I post something up to date. Obviously, I'm not gonna post a lot of videos, but as I get time and uh, can sit down and uh, learn some more Adobe Premiere, uh, try not to do too much. I don't want it to be too much uh, music and craziness. So my first two videos are just kind of me playing around, you know, kind of introducing the project. My main, that's my main project. I plan on keeping it. I'm not ever going to sell it or anything. Uh, not, I don't plan on it. Obviously, everything in life is for sale, but I don't plan on selling it. Hopefully, I don't. I really don't think anybody will gonna want to buy it. I just want something I can play around with. It's still kind of street legal, kinda, uh, because obviously this thing, this uh, lessons learned is gonna be gonna be a little crazy to drive around on the street with some uh, street legal radials on it. I guess that's the right terminology. I think it's street legal, street radials, is that what you call it? So I'm kind of learning again. I've been kind of out of the automotive industry for quite a few years. So I am sort of green again. So, but follow me on my Instagram. It's uh, at Lakeside underscore performance. Uh, that's going to be my automotive uh, project channel and Instagram. So follow that if that's if that's what you want to do. I mean, you don't have to. You don't want to. Obviously, I'm not looking for a lot of numbers or anything like that. I just want to get it out there. There's actually several things that I've noticed uh, at least on my uh, police interceptor cop car, the Crown Vic, I, there's some things that uh, that I that I've recorded so far. Excuse me. That uh, that I can't find information on on YouTube, so I've just been having to just deal with it. So I guess you saw my my post where I I literally have been having to uh, go through all the plastic loom that's covering up all the wires. Sorry, I'm trying to talk and drive all the same time. And I'm not used to it. So, oh man. Anywho, I'm about 50, about 50 more minutes away from Copart, New Orleans. Uh, I live in South Alabama, so it's about a two-hour drive to the New Orleans Copart. That's my, uh, I think that's my closest Copart where 
I can actually buy things without a license. Uh, my lessons learned, Crown Victoria is actually a clean title. It's It came from Copart, but it's a clean title, but it's a public, so public, public auction car, so I'm able to get a clean title on it. I've actually already got it insured. I haven't registered it yet. I don't know how much that's gonna be yet, but I mean, I haven't had been able to really drive it either, except for just like around my little cul-de-sac in my uh, neck of the woods and uh, back and forth in the driveway because I've still got to resolve an alternator problem. And uh, so I, I got to just put a new alternator on it and just be done with it. I, I'm concerned that if, uh, I'm concerned that if I drive it just up the road, the alternator's gonna lock up because while it's running, you can hear it. It sounds like it's just grinding metal on the inside of that alternator. So it sounds ridiculous. So uh, you can't really pick it up on the camera because of all the engine noise while it's running. But if you are standing in front of the engine and you kind of listen close to that alternator, it's, it's pretty crunchy sounding. So I would say that that guy, um, getting hot here, the sun's, you know, it cooled off yesterday, but it's just, it's like 50 something degrees down here. Earlier this week, it was like 78, I think on Tuesday, and now it's like 51. Yeah, it's just crazy. It's just, it's totally crazy. So, anyways, the plan for the Volvo, so you'll see it, you'll see it in a few, um, short bit, but so the plan for the Volvo is, is basically like a, a quick flip, kind of like an auto auction rebuild kind of kind of thing. So, uh, but the way I do it, uh, if if you know me, you'll you'll know that I will probably invest more time in it than it's worth. Uh, these old uh, Volvos, five cylinder Volvos, don't have a resale value at all. So. This one was really, really cheap. I actually purchased it through a buy it now price of $475. That's right, $475. Mechanical damage with a secondary damage of minor dents and scratches. Uh, I have a, a local pull apart at, uh, in Mobile. It's not ter terribly far away from my house, so I'm on a, uh, they've got a, they've got a 2008 Volvo S40 over there, and uh, so I, I'm going to go by there sometime next week and see if they have a passenger side front fender, because, because the uh, fender on this S40 that I'm about to pick up is kind of wrinkled. I don't know what happened there. Obviously, I haven't seen it in person yet, so I don't know how bad it is yet. But it's not bad. I mean, whoever did it, I uh, was looking at that there was an auto check on this car. It looked like it was in a minor collision like three years ago or something, in 2017. Uh, but it was minor damage, and it, it appears because it was minor damage, they didn't repair it. They, I guess they just took the insurance money and went about their business or they didn't have any insurance on it or what. I can tell from the photos it hasn't been driven in a while. Um, I think I'll post some pictures up. I'll show you while, while I'm talking. I'll kind of pop those up. Maybe I can figure out how to do that in Premiere. Uh, good thing I pick up on things quick. But should be able to... Uh, pop them up for you kind of show you what I, what I what I've seen from the photos and what I think is going on with it um, tires are bald so it needs tires obviously uh, they're probably dry rotted too but I'm not gonna sell it with anything wrong with it I'm gonna I'm gonna work all the details out and I, I'm pretty anal retentive when it comes to stuff like this and as you can see from the interior photo, uh, I'll put that up. 
the interior is going to be pretty nasty so I'm going to have to definitely get get my hands dirty there I'm more than likely I'll do similar to what I did in lessons learned except for the fact that I'm going to put everything back and not just gut it but uh, I pretty much pos I'm pretty positive that that scared the shit out of me Sorry, excuse my language. Motorcycle just passed me like doing about a hundred. Jeez, oh, he's splitting lanes. Wow, that is insane. That dude has a death wish. Damn, I forgot what I was gonna say. Oh yeah, so on the interior, uh, I'm gonna, it looks pretty bad. And you know, in, in co-parts, good fashion, they, know what they do they they never take pictures of the driver's side seat but I can really if I get on my computer on my larger computer screen I can see that the uh, driver's side seat has a couple little spots where the um, seams are coming apart so yeah I'm I'm pretty dang sure that it's gonna need a little bit of repair. Um, I don't have a sewing machine, so I'm probably gonna see if my mom would be interested in helping me out with that. She has a sewing machine and she's really, really good at stuff like that uh, with uh, different kind of craft, arts and crafts and things. So I will ever give it a shot. I mean, shoot, I mean, it's worth, it's worth a shot for her to try it. If she messes it up, you know, no, no harm, no foul. Um, try to clean it up real good. Get her to sew the, the seams back up, and then uh, go from there and see what happens. But I, I really gonna have to clean them up. I, I was looking last night at some pictures. I couldn't go to sleep, so I was looking for pictures of what the engine bay is supposed to look like. Because I see from the photo in the engine bay, circle that on the picture there, the engine control the unit the ECU um, it's got it's zip tied so I was looking in it and it obviously has an aftermarket intake with air filter um, so I think from the photos I was looking at with the aftermarket legitimate air intakes for the for the s40 the um, they they give you a bracket for that ECU. It appears that whoever had this car, they put this intake on it. It took all the factory out, all the OEM air intake. Whoever took it out, uh, just they just screwed that up. <laughs> what the crap? So I don't know. I'm I'm gonna definitely put the OEM filter back in it. Um, I think this car probably has a couple hundred thousand miles on it. It's, it's obviously it's got over 200,000 miles on it. Just because it's so scratched up and so dirty. I mean, I've seen some cars with 30,000 miles that aren't as bad, but I can kind of tell uh, usually the difference between a really dirty 30,000 mile car and a really dirty 200,000 mile car. This is a really dirty 200,000 mile car. Somebody got to that point where they got it when they were, you know, 130, 140,000 miles, and they probably bought it on the cheap because the resale value on these cars stink. So, so yeah, they uh, were not worried about making it, keeping it nice or nothing. So, whereas me, I don't care. You know, I'm gonna make whatever I drive is gonna be nice. I don't care. Old, new, certified, not certified, whatever. So I'm gonna make it right. I wanna uh, the oh <laughs> the pull apart the S40 that I was telling you about. The pull apart over there in Mobile has this S40. It's actually the same color. I didn't even walk over there because I've just been buying the Crown Vic parts. So. So that's how that works. 
I've just been buying Crown Vic parts, so I've been visiting the Ford aisles. I don't really care about the other aisles. But now that I've picked up this Volvo, you know, I searched on Pull Apart and uh, their inventory local to me. Would you have it? They have an S40 that they picked up this month. Like, not even two weeks ago. How is that? That's some luck right there for me. I'm lucky. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. It's pretty cool that they picked that up just right in the nick of time for me to get it. So, hopefully, it's got a good dry, uh, passenger side front fender. If it does, awesome. That's a win win for me because I was looking, I, I did, I went to, uh, E, e repair manuals I think I'll put the link up obviously it's not sponsored or nothing but I'll, I'll shout out to them I like it it's pretty cool I uh cool we here look at this check it out we made it cool New Orleans old Gentilly Road so we're gonna come here and find me a parking spot here Let's see what it looks like. Not too bad. I'm trying to find a place here to park. Park in between some of these trucks here. Should be fine. We'll try to play with the big boys. Good try anyways. Alright. Alright, let me go in here and uh, pay for this Volvo. I'm excited. We'll see what it looks like. Hopefully it's not terrible. Hopefully it's not too, too bad. We'll see though. We'll see what it looks like when I it won't be too too bad so here it is 2009 volvo s40 t5 all-wheel drive with some sundown audio not sure if that's in there or not i can't get the trunk open because it's electronic and you see a couple little dents and dings i'm not terrible the only thing i'm mostly concerned about is funny it's number one it's leaking water out of it which means it's got water inside. As you can see, there's a little bio in here. I don't know why they didn't mark this as a bio, but it's got a little water in it. It stinks. It's pretty moldy smelling. But look at this. So they got a boost gauge on there with a little nitrous button of some sort. I don't know what that is. Hopefully, hopefully it wasn't really uh, a nitrous car. But uh, yeah, you never know. We'll see. Man, let's get this thing home. Try to get off the trailer. See what's up. See if we can uh, get this thing cleaned up a little bit. Get rid of that water issue. And uh, get charged up. To turn the engine over and check compression. See what we can do. Shouldn't be too bad. Seen worse, for sure.